Hello YouTube, this is the Simple Human here. I'm going to show you guys today how to download and install the XSplit broadcaster software. This is a video recording software. It can also stream. It's for recording your computer screen, whether you're playing video games, doing things like the simple how-to video, or just goofing around on your computer. This uh, software was suggested to me by some of my friends, and it's free. There are some other things that you can purchase in the software that can unlock some of the more professional tools. However, you do not have to purchase anything. It is free. It is a safe download. And it's really straightforward how to get it on your computer. It took me a minute to learn how to use it and get it started. However, once I got past that very short learning curve, it was really easy to use. So, first thing you want to do is you want to open your browser. I'm using Google Chrome and you can either go to xsplit.com or you can search xsplit broadcaster in Google. So the first one that pops up is this xsplit broadcaster professional live stream software. It's going to take you straight to the broadcaster page. You can click download here or you can scroll to the bottom. There's another download bo button and you can learn about what the product's about. So it's going to take you to this page once you click on download. And here's where you get to pick between XSplit Broadcaster or XSplit Gamecaster. Now, I don't re I'm not really certain what the difference is. I'm assuming they're both going to record your games. And that's my understanding because I can also record games with the Broadcaster software. Maybe the Gamecaster has some kind of better qualities or frames per second maybe it can record them faster or something like that however I'm not only going to use the software for playing video games I'm also going to use it for doing things like this how-to video that I'm doing right now so I downloaded exploit broadcaster now I've already downloaded this to kind of speed things up because it it does take about a minute to download so once you download it it's going to show up in your your downloads folder or wherever you have your default downloads go to and it's going to be this xsplit broadcaster bunch of numbers dot exe you want to double click on that and it's going to pop up but do you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer I'm pretty sure I do that's why I clicked on it now this takes about 30 seconds to ex it's extracting the main application files so wait for it to do that and then it's going to pull up the installation wizard. Now, installation wizards are usually pretty straightforward. There's no installing toolbars or anything for this. So you just go through and click next. And I've already installed this, so I'm not going to go through all this because I don't, it m might change some things and I don't want to change them. It's working fine right now. So, but you just follow the installation wizard, it gives you all your instructions on how to do it. It's really easy. You will have to set up an account with XSplit. However, they don't need anything more than your email address and your name and a couple other things, but it's really easy. It's really safe and it's good software. So, all right. Uh, thanks for your support. I can use all the subscribers I can get. So please click that red button and have a good day.